NDA. Non-disclosure agreement. We'll see you so bad you won't have any money for keyboards. Ka-ka! Ka-ka! No! I can finally talk about these. Forgive my excitement over something as silly as stabilizers, but this is the first product or item that I've ever had pre-release and actually had to sign an NDA saying that I wouldn't talk about it before Glorious said I could. So that was exciting. It wasn't exactly because of my YouTube channel. I actually had uh, signed up for the Glorious Guild program and on there they uh, put out a, a call of sorts for a beta test of their new stabilizers. So I signed up and within the documentation for that they also mentioned that you know we, we could make videos and things like that after the embargo was lifted. So that's what I'm doing. A little over a year ago Glorious PC Gaming Race released this, the GMMK Pro. And with it, they released a whole bunch of different accessories aimed at the mechanical keyboard hobby. Um, they released everything from switches to keycaps to keycap pullers to switch pullers to a lube brush, lubing station, all sorts of stuff. And it was meant to sort of be a, like a one-stop shop, uh, a sort of stepping stone, if you will, uh, into the broader hobby of mechanical keyboards. Mechanical keyboards can sort of be a very confusing space to walk around in, especially if you're new. And so having a place where you can sort of go and see everything that you might need uh, in order to get started in the hobby, I thought was a really great idea. Um, now that the mechanical keyboard hobby is starting to expand more and more, that's becoming more and more commonplace. But I feel like Glorious, uh, as a company, I wouldn't call it ahead of the curve, but definitely pushing things forward, w whether it's with keyboards or gaming mice and things like that, um, I definitely see them being beneficial to the community as a whole. Now, there's been a couple of missteps along the way, uh, but I think given things like these stabilizers, I, I think they're, they're proving that they're, they, they want to improve. They're not just, you know, they're not just out there for a cash grab. Every company has to make money. That's why they exist. But to actively listen to the community and respond to the community, I think is a great value to have as a company. And I think in certain areas, they've sort of pushed up bigger companies, companies like Razer, to sort of see what customers want and go in that direction. Now, a lot of times when that happens and those bigger companies see that and actually change, the little guy goes under. So far, Glorious seems to be going strong, which I'm happy for. Now, I'm not exactly a Glorious shill or anything. What? What? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do. I, I like their stuff. I've been a fan of theirs. Since the original Model O, um, I never ran into any issues with their Model O or any of the variations. I've actually had three different versions. I had the original Model O, I had the new one, uh, and I had the Model O wireless. I actually wanted to do like some sort of a giveaway uh, with them, but you know I gave them away to friends, so I couldn't do that. But I do need another Model O wireless. I might go and buy one, and I might buy a couple extra. When they released the GMMK Pro, they released a set of aftermarket stabilizers called GOAT stabilizers. GOAT stabilizers. Greatest of all time stabilizers. <clears throat> now, a lot of people didn't take so kindly to that, considering they were okay stabilizers. But here they are, a little over a year later, and they've already released a refresh. And early reports seem to suggest that the price point's going to be $9.99. Uh, there might even be a discount if you already own a GMMK Pro. It's sort of a good guy move so that people who already own the board don't feel like they're being ripped off. Now, taking a look at the stems here, it's, it's really interesting. They, they put this like little, um, little resting spot uh, right at the back of the stem where the where the wire goes in. Oh, I'm making sure I go. Oh, this is really difficult. So 
So the wire kind of rests in there and has basically zero tolerance. Now, this stem is outside of its housing, so there's going to be a little bit of play here. But when it's in its housing, there's like almost no play. Now, I thought this might be an issue, especially considering that their previous version uh, kind of stuck a little bit when you added too much lube. Uh, and I know a lot of people were complaining about that. Um, and when you look at something like the Durox, there's definitely like just the smallest hint of more play in there. Now, this obviously makes them easier to slide up and down, which is good for not having your keys stick. But I haven't seen any issues with these so far in terms of key sticking. I did lube mine with Crytox 205 grade zero. And they really, I mean, look, there's like no wiggle there at all. I mean, you can get them to wiggle, sure, in terms of stem rattle, or I'm sorry, uh, stem wobble. Things like the Duroc V2 are already pretty solid stabilizers. So if you already have a pair of those, you might not want to upgrade to these. But all I'll say is I installed these in my board with the intention of reinstalling my Duroc V2s, and I haven't reinstalled my Duroc V2s yet. I did a minimal amount of lubing. Uh, I lubed them with Crytox 205G0, and they've been running smooth ever since. I'm going to drop a sound test now so you can judge for yourself, but I definitely suggest whether you own a GMMK Pro or going to own a GMMK Pro, maybe even other boards. If you got another board, and you need some stabilizers. Say you decide you want to upgrade your stabilizers one day. 